After reading the thumbnail and title of this video, you might have created curiosity. So let's end the curiosity by starting the video. My name is Salman Khan, founder and CEO uh, of this channel. So let's talk about deserts. Any desert in the world is a barren area in which you can see only sand, but there is much more in it, which can be beautiful as well as dangerous. The biggest source of desertification is the lack of rain in these areas. These areas receive less than 24 cm of rainfall, which is almost non-existent compared to these deserts. The most beautiful definition of a desert is that it is a region that is constantly dehydrated. There is not as much rain in these areas as there is a lack of moisture in them. If you ever have the opportunity to visit a desert area in your life, you must take your water tank there. Jokes apart, my dear, these desert areas cover about 33% of our earth. That is 33% of the world is desert and 67% is the rest of the world the dry area this 33 percent area includes large areas like antarctica now you might be thinking that this guy is talking about the desert and is including the icy area so yes there you heard right actually the area of antarctica that is covered in snow is called desert the hottest desert in the world is located in North Africa, which is called the Sahara Desert. This desert covers about 9 million square kilometers. Deserts have different ground levels, for example, rocks, sand dunes, and snow. In these deserts, it seems that it is difficult for any animal to survive. But there are many species of animal and plants that are living happily. The strange thing about desert is that it sometimes spreads too much and sometimes shrinks. Now the reason behind this is not my topic. Anyway, we move on to our video. Most of the world's deserts are found in the western part of the Americas, Western Asia, Central Australia, and South and North Africa. By the way, let me know in the comment box which desert have you visited in your life. Another beauty of the deserts is that the deserts are very hot during the day and very cold at night as the desert of Sahara is very hot during the day and cold at night. But there are also cold deserts like Atacama in South America on a world that is cold both day and night. It would not be wrong to say that these deserts are frozen. Now let me tell you one thing, the place where it snowed all the time is also called cold desert. Let me tell you about the special difference between hot and cold deserts. There are only two types of deserts in the world, hot deserts and cold deserts. Cold deserts are icy, but there are some deserts where the snow has dried up and are called tundra because some deserts have short season of above freezing temperatures. An ice cap can be a cold desert that remains below freezing all year round. The cold deserts are closer to the poles, which is why these deserts are also called polar deserts. There are cold deserts in many parts of the world. For example, highlands like the Himalayas can be called cold deserts and deserts in the mountains are called mountain deserts. The largest desert in the world is Antarctica, as I have already mentioned. That's it. Now we are talking about hot deserts. Hot deserts are present in most subtropics. They can be covered by sand, rocks, salt lakes, stony hills, and even mountains. The desert temperature is unreliable because it fluctuates up and down. During the day, its temperature can be 50 degrees Celsius or higher. And at night, 
its temperature drops so much that it reaches 0 degree celsius and sometimes goes below 0 degree celsius and you know at 0 degree celsius everything starts to freeze it's amazing isn't it the sahara desert is considered to be the warmest of all the deserts in the world the driest desert in the world is the atacama desert in the united states i mean in the america there was no rain in this desert from 1570 to 1971 meaning this desert remained dry for 401 years 401 years now let's talk about how much rain falls in the deserts and when as i told you before the atacama desert has not had rain for 401 years except for the atacama desert deserts around the world do get rain every year or every few years rainfall in the desert can bring a lot of water in a very short time some rain goes straight into the soil but some rain turns into rivers and because of this rain streams that are usually dry fill up faster now let's know why floods occur it means that flooding in the desert is a string thing, isn't it? What actually happens is that desert sand fails to soak up rainwater quickly. Consequently and without warning, heavy rains in these arid parts can lead to flash flooding. The dry ditches, channels and lake beds of deserts are prone to violent surges of water when heavy rains pour walls of water 10 to 30 feet high are not uncommon now let's talk about desert animals how these animals survive in such a hot and cold region by the way there are not as many animals in the rainforests but the animals that live in the desert rarely survive in the rainforests in fact these animals have many ways to survive in this desert environment the majority of the animals that live in the desert are lizards small rats snakes and camels desert plants and animals survive in very little water due to the scarcity of water xerophytic plants which live in the desert have special adaptations they may survive by growing root that are very near the surface to absorb the rain that may fall before it evaporates. Plants like cactus have dense stems that help them store water. Some animals such as lizards and rats mostly live in their underground burrows and keep themselves alive and the special thing about these small animals is that they mostly go out at night in search of food. Like plants, Animals have to survive on shallow water. Most animals get their water from plants, stems and leaves. But plants that have leaves and stems. Camels survive in hot deserts by storing water in body fat in their humps. Like other desert animals, the camel loses little water in its wastes, I mean in urine and feces. That's it. If you want to know something else about history, nature or an animal, you can ask in the comment box. I'll try my best to answer it immediately and maybe even make a video on it. And if you think that this video added a little bit value in your life, then you must express that point in the comment box that you have got new today. Burn a lot of thanks for liking, subscribing and watching. Goodbye, stay blessed.